Today is a pretty big day. Early voting starts for the primary runoff election. Voters are going to have to decide which Democratic and Republican primary candidates they want on the ballot in November. And for those looking to cast their votes today, it's going to be different. Candy Rodriguez explains the changes you can expect out of the polls. The pandemic caused a bunch of problems for Travis County on Super Tuesday. That was March 3rd, 10 days before the county had any coronavirus cases. Now with nearly 8,500 cases, all eyes are on the county's election judges, which on Super Tuesday, 80 did not show up. I mean, seven or eight people every election is what we're used to. Ten times that, 80. Uh, caught us by surprise. To avoid that problem, Travis County Clerk Dana Debois says they're calling on two groups to help out. Travis County employees and they're recruiting people who are younger. I'm hoping that we've got enough and it's all going to be okay. They'll need those recruits. Debois expects early voting in this primary runoff to be busy. She estimates voter turnout could be as high as 30 percent, six times higher than a normal runoff. Even with COVID, voters want to vote. There, there's, there's pent up energy and they're ready to go to the, pal the, to the polling places. New for Travis County, people will no longer vote in grocery stores. They're already challenged just trying to take care of us, but there isn't any real way to socially distance voters and shoppers in those little bitty locations. Instead, the county has new, larger voting polling locations to allow for social distancing. Places like the Tony Berger Activity Center and several elementary schools. And when it comes to voting, Debuwa says there are new steps voters will have to take to follow COVID-19 health guidelines. We want voters to wear a mask. We will ask them to sanitize their hands. Uh, they're not going to be touching any of the equipment. We have PPE for the voters to use for the equipment. With all of these changes, Debuwa says early voting is key. Life is a little unpredictable right now. You don't know what's going to happen to you in the next few days. Um, get the voting taken care of as soon as possible. Despite COVID-19 concerns, Debuwa believes the November election will break every record they've ever experienced when it comes to voter turnout. In Austin this morning, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Polls open in less than an hour at 7 o'clock this morning. They close at 7 o'clock tonight. Keep in mind, this weekend is a holiday, so the polls will be closed on Friday. That's when that holiday is observed, 4th of July. It's going to be closed on actual 4th of July, which is Saturday. Early voting altogether ends July 10th. Now, it's one of the biggest things is that you can't vote at the grocery store. So my usual yeah. Randall spot, yeah. uh, not happening, right? Mm -hmm. you have to change. not. This I, did another thing. I, I think we're going to see a lot more early voting because, you know, why wait for election day when there are potentially going to be big crowds? You mm -hmm. know, go a couple days early when it's yeah. convenient for you, and yeah. hopefully there won't really be a lot of people there. Makes sense to me. Yeah.